Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'll be showing you multiple ways to style your layered French coral braids. I have these braids done in Lagos, Nigeria on Saturday. And you guys, it is so lush. I use the color 305. Yeah, 305. And I used about four extensions. And you see, it feels so amazing. And there are multiple ways you can style your braids. At times, you know, we get really comfortable and we just go about with the regular, you know, all up or all back style. And I'm also guilty of that. So today I will show you about 12 different ways you can style your layered French curl braids. So for this, you need a curl clip like this, any color of your choice and a band, just like this. So. Let's get into it. So the first style I'll be doing is a regular degree, you know, chuku and base that we are we used to do back there in school. So, but for this, I'll be having one side as the base and I'll pack up the other side. Let's go. So, so you can decide on the side you want to have your base. So it could be like this or it could be like this, but I'll just leave this here. Then I'll take all this back. So I'm just basically, you know, packing all of this up. You can see the layered, you can see how layered it is. So this is style one you can rock this to church anywhere at all looks pretty beautiful and i love the whole layered thing going on right here now on to style two still you know exploring what we had before i'll pack all of this up and this time around i just want to bring two ponies to the front so instead of having you know just it like this which is the regular ones we are used to right i will just bring this forward like this and bring another forward like this so it just has that dangling you know all cute and if you want to explore more you could bring like two instead so let's take this back so you want to explore more you can bring like two forward like this so i'm just going to put this back So this is another style you can explore and this is style two moving on to style three i just want to bring some of it forward like this and then i want to use this one at the front to create like an illusion of a band so i'm just going to go ahead i always like to leave one or two forward it just gives it a cute look so I'm just going to leave like two forward and take more of the hair here. Now the thing about this hair is it is very, very soft. Like it's so soft. Unlike you know your regular braids, it's really, really, really soft. So you have to be like gentle with it. I'm also trying to be very conscious of my front hair because I don't want my front hair, you know, popping out and the whole world, you know, I don't have front hair. <laughs> So what I have now, I just want to pack this one together. So I'm going to take out this band from here. So then I want to release this one. So you can see how this is. Feels like I have a band, then I have a base. Exactly. That's the look I'm going for for this one. So you can choose to actually, you know, take this backwards. But that is how I usually like to have mine, like this. So this is another way to style. So let's just bring this one to our shoulders. Either way you want to. Either way you want to have it done. 
you guys i'm in love with these braids it's so soft so this is another way you can decide like i said to just take it back like this and you know like this you can also decide to pack it all back as well then bring the one that's behind forward now style four we'll be using the claw clips style four i want to divide my hair into sections i will have like three sections some at the front like this then another that i'll pack up then the next that i will leave behind so i'll just take these ones behind but i'm not taking everything right just some of it like i said i'm going to divide the hair so the ones that i'm taking behind i'm going to use my rubber my band to pack it up So this one makes the layers pop very well. You can see how cute it is. This is it from behind. Now style number five. We'll be using two claw clips for this. So let's go. So for this next style, I want to divide my hair into two parts. So I'll just use this line as a guide, the center part line. Then half three of the hair still forward like this. Then for this, I'll be using my claw clip and the band. So I'll just pack this up like this. Then trying to make sure that no one is no, no one is left out. Then I'll pack it behind using my band like this. So I'm using the band and the claw clip. Remember how I packed that first time? So I'm just going to pack this like this. Use the claw clip to pack this and make it fall. Then I will do the same for this other part of it. So you can see the illusion that we have here. Then I will take this back as well. So this is what we have for this two. So for this one, I will just, you know, arrange it and let the hair cover the claw clips. You can tell I'm obsessed with this one. So. On to the next style. Next style can be you packing it to the side like this. If you have a pin, a bobby pin, you can just use your pin like this. But I don't have a bobby pin, so this is also a really cute way you can style your hair. On the next one, we're taking this bun up, making a bun, and then taking this base backwards. Again, I don't want it to be too tight so that my hair doesn't pull out because my hair is short and so delicate. And this one that is left, 
I will just, you know, chase it this way and roll it to the back like this. Then use a band because, like I said, the hair is really soft. So at every time you need to like use bands or use pins because the extension is really soft. This is just another way sticking everything to the side and so for the next one we just repeat the same process but we make a bun the first time we didn't make a bun so this next style we'll be making a bun out of this so we're just going to gently take this out and make a bun out of this just pack those bits all the way up like this Remember the last time we made this flow, but this time around I just made it into a cute messy bun. So next style. Oops. <laughs> I want this to really come to come really forward. Yeah, this is fine to give it a coming to America look. Now just, you know, stretch it out like that. Bring some forward like this. So this is just like a high bun. Then I will just use some of the hair to cover up the band. See how pretty this is so for the ninth style easy just bring this out and there you have yourself a princess <laughs> i'm obsessed with bringing two out like this so to the next one so this is very easy i'm just going to pack all of the hair back very simple and quick style very easy very quick you can decide to bring two out or not i think i like it like this now to the last one i just want to do a very high rise bone here then pack the back down You can decide to. It's my favorite thing to do. Just bring a little out on the side. And so, this is the last style. You can see the high bone, then this is behind. Then we have some at the base. You can decide not to have a base, it all depends on you. And there you have it, all 12 different styles. Let me know if you have comments and if you'll be recreating any of these looks. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. See you in my next video. Toodles!